Welcome to Review Time with Islip. I am Islip, and today I'm going to be reviewing the last piece of the Warbertron set. But before I do that, here is all the boxes stacked all the way up. And yes, that's my hand holding it. Uh, this thing is a massive box. This thing is probably about three feet in length. Uh, to give you an idea of its size, there is that dude. Yes, okay. Sorry, this is a little tire serene. Um, let's go ahead and Get them down. And carry on with our review. So, uh, here we are about to review. I believe this is Fierce Attack, is it not? Yep, Fierce Attack. So, here he is in his bot mode. You can see the Seekers up there, or what looks like Seeker Jets. And it is really nice artwork. I wish I could have a poster of this just like this. And uh, there we go. Fierce attack in his vehicle mode, in his robot mode. And this guy is my favorite. He is my favorite um, for, for a few reasons. Uh, the main reason is because one of the first... Transformers I ever had, especially the first combiner was, uh, or combiner pieces I should say, was Onslaught and Silver Bolt. And here he is, you can see he comes with instructions. Oh, I was wondering where these were. The, these are the instructions for the uh, Warbertron X ray and gun kit. I was looking for them. I didn't, turns out I didn't need them, but it would have been nice to have. Um, and I will be reviewing the the gun part of those of that kit. Uh, not not these little figures. I've already done these little figures. Um, I'll show them off with Warbatron when when uh, or Bruticus Warbatron whatever. I'll show them off when we get there. But um, there's an extra set of weapons that combine to form. A super gun like there's two swords, uh, two Bowie knives, um, a bunch of throwing uh, daggers, nunchucks, uh, a bow staff, and a rocket launcher or grenade launcher kind of deal. So here's Fierce Attack. He is Staff Sergeant. He's the same rank. He should be the leader. He's the same rank as uh, what's his name? As uh. Swindle. Anyway, he's got a card. He's got an instruction booklet, which doubles as a comic book. And I think, um, I think he has like the master comic. I think it's all the comics so far, plus his story in there. I'm not 100 percent sure. Let me just take a quick look. Let me get this out of here. On top of the comic, he also comes with comes with an instruction sheet. So, what's in the comic book? Let's see. This is a nice cover, by the way. That's a very nice cover. Warbots rises. Um. Now, this is definitely not the same. Oh, there's air burst. Heavy noise. Z, excuse me, heavy noisy. Oh, so it's just a comic book. I gotta check with the other ones to see if this is um, all of them together plus a new one or what. But it feels really good. It's really thick paper. This feels really good. I gotta read this sometime. Let me just leave this over here. I'll read it tonight. I have not read it yet. So, 
Let's go ahead and get him out. And here he is. And I think he's the only one to come in vehicle mode, maybe? Is he the only one to come in vehicle mode? Yes. Yes, it is. This is the only one that comes in comes in vehicle mode when you get him. So he is an armored truck, like he used to be. And he has a bit of a trailer here. Um, difference is that in the G1, uh, this part and the truck mode formed the little robot and like it was just one piece this is actually two pieces so we got his uh, Bruticus gun uh, shoulder guns uh, they also come off and you can actually split them apart and uh, there's handles here and then there's handles in here which uh, hell if I can get them out you need a, a you need a tool or maybe to unscrew it a little bit um, and he can hold them as guns if he wants to so there's that I'll put that over to the side for now we've got the Bruticus chest plate which um, doesn't really really do anything I mean you know you can pretend it's a flying drone or something you know with a gun in the front to shoot maybe it's a, a, a bug I don't know but you've got that and there's a spot here actually for a Decepticon label so that's pretty nice and then we have the two pieces here and uh, let's see I'm gonna separate them now whoops good thing that's on a little peg okay there we go and you just attach this part with these two little pegs into what will be the feet of the robot so that aside it's just a little trailer thing you can you know put other bots on it if you want to um, he comes with all the hands and the feet so you can if you want to um, put it in a configuration where it's like a gun embankment it's got little tank treads at the bottom um, and you can actually just leave it on there and he could just be pulling it around I'm making so much noise it's the middle of the night just pretend that's on like that and yeah and he's pulling pulling a, a whole gun embankment with him um, so I went on the internet like I said to look because there's no nothing in the instructions on what to do with all this stuff when it's not in in Bruticus mode War, War Vertron mode um, they don't form weapons like like the, um, like all the other, like the Combiner War stuff, where the hands and feet form weapons. These look like they could be tanks, so you could separate them, but then you've got nothing to do with everything else. And as I was putting it together, as I saw online, uh, I noticed that there are, aside from the fact that these have like a peg and a, a peg hole, square, rectangular peg or whatever, same over here, and they slot together, there's also... If you look on the handle of the gun, right here, there is a peg which is actually smaller than a 5mm peg, and there's a hole right here, a screw hole, which it actually fits into, which is where I had it. And it fits into there, and then you just put this piece together on the other side, and then well, I was going to say, there you go, it's, it's held together. It's, it's held together pretty good. Um, obviously not good enough that you can shake it upside down, but it, it holds together pretty good. And then you can just turn the feet up, the toes up like this if you want to. And, um, yeah. So, I mean, it's the feet, it's the, the hands, which obviously are the hands. The feet at least look like tanks or guns or something, so you can get away with that. Um... 
Especially when you stick the big gun on her. And it, it does look like some sort of gun embankment. You can have one of the other robots if you want to just kind of manning it. Like, like I like to take my little shockwaves and, and have them, you know, manning the gun. If I can get this guy to freaking stand up. But yeah, I mean, that looks pretty good. I think that looks really good. As like a gun embankment, gun emplacement, whatever. And then if you have the um, the extra gun weapons uh, that form the big gun, you can actually put some of those in in here as well, which I'm not going to do because I have not reviewed the set yet. So I'm just gonna have to wait. But um, yeah, there's that. Um, this now is going to form the bottom half of Bruticus, so there's really nothing else we can do. So let's go ahead and get this transformed. Uh, what you're going to do is just make sure that's up. This flips down and pegs into itself. There are two peg hole pegs right here, two peg holes. This. Um, and everything is tight. This just flips over like so. And then these will flip like this. See, there's the peg things here. And then you want to take these and split them. And bring these flaps out so they're out of the way. Bring this up like this. And then bring this down like that. And that's the legs of uh, the Warbertron Bruticus. And I think that's actually pretty cool. I mean, the back part always formed the legs of of Bruticus anyway, so I don't mind that it separates into its own little trailer thing and then you know it's it's actually pretty cool. I think that was done very well. So I'm gonna put him off to the side we'll put him it's not even a uh we'll just gonna put that off to the side. Let's take a look at the main figure. That would be this guy right here. He's pretty cool. He's got these gun things, these guns, these uh, missile things that attach to the sides that come off there on standard pegs. Let's go ahead and bring this up a bit and get him out of the shadows. And there are, like, there's details everywhere. It's rivets. Um, his colors are a little bland-ish too, but they're not quite as bland. I mean, it's it's broken up. It's The gray is a... Um, a silverish gray where it's the other other gray on the other figure that I had a problem with was just a bland gray. The blue is roughly the same kind of blue if I'm honest but I mean it's a military vehicle so I can kind of dig that and there's green on it and it's a military kind of green silver um, so I think it's much better on this guy and now I'm so close but uh, he's a really nice figure I think it's weird that he's got these red lights here, and then they're above the silver lights, but hey. And I'm not sure what this is supposed to be. But, um, he's a nice little armored truck. Or I shouldn't say little, because he's, you know, fairly decent size. Just without the, without the trailer, he is fairly, fairly big. Let's see if I can stand him up. Yeah, I can stand him up. He's fairly, fairly sizable. As you can see, take him out and put Megs right there. You see, it's uh, he's longer than Megatron is. Take one of his uh, little buddies. Still taller. And he is way out of scale with the with the tank guy. Very out of scale. But that is okie dokie. So to get him in his bot mode, what we're gonna do is gonna 
pull these out, which are going to be the feet. I'm going to take these and unclip them. You got to be very careful because you'll send the pieces flying if you don't because they're really tight. Did I mention that it's like really tight? And um, you can now we'll go ahead and pull these off and we'll take take these off for now. Put them over to the side. Okay. Bring these down. Now the instructions make it look like these go straight down flush. They don't. They don't. Don't worry about it. Don't try. It just isn't going to happen. Let's split that. Pull these down until they click. And I undid the... I didn't mean to undo that. Okay. And then we're going to... What are we going to do next? We are going to... Um... What are we going to do next? I forget. Oh. Pull these out. Oh, and pull that out while we're at it. And... Let's see. There we go. Push these straight down. And next we're going to... What are we going to do? We can flip these up for now. Take this, split it apart. Bring it down. Bring that down. And flip this up for now because we got to bring this over here. Flip. Sorry about that. Lift up. I feel like I feel like there's too much shadow on them now. There we go. That's a little bit better. I still feel like there's too much shadow. Oh, okay. I see. It's, it's just the angle of the thing. All right. So flip these up. Rotate like so, and then bring these straight on down. Straight on down. Okay, go ahead and open this up and flip out. It's going to be the hands. And do the same on this side. Okay, flip it open. Luge. And uh, there we go. And then we're going to take this piece here, flip these up, bring these down, hold them down like that, and bring this whole piece over like that. And then this will plug in right there. Okay, and then you're going to open this back piece here and pull out the little head and then close the back piece back like so and then rotate and that's pretty much it. Oh, I forgot to put out, pull out the heels. Don't forget to pull out the heels, otherwise your figure won't stand. Okay, and then that's it. And there you have Onslaught. Or, excuse me, Fierce Attack. And he looks pretty good. I like him. If, originally, I didn't because there's just so many lines, and I, I didn't like that at first, like these little vent lines. I didn't like that. But in hand, it actually looks pretty good. Now, I usually have. Two problems with this figure. One is he always seems to lean, and two, like you know, I always seem to have him leaning one way or the other. And two is that there's like 
too much space between um, the ratchets so he tends to lean backwards a lot instead of just being straight I mean I guess you can remedy that by getting him in sort of a like a walking pose or something but um yeah there's I mean that's not really that big of an issue until you try to put his backpack on then that becomes a bit of an issue let's go ahead and put his backpack on go ahead and close no I'm doing that wrong uh, am I doing that wrong yeah there it goes just stick this on here anyway so there we go and we have fierce attack in his onslaught mode and he looks pretty good I think he looks pretty good and you can just take this and plug it into his arm here as a shield if you want to whoops don't go nowhere thank you um, take these stick them in his hips Not his hips, stick him. I mean, you can stick him in his hips. He's got, he's got holes right here where you can, if you want to, stick them in. You can do that, but I think they're supposed to go here. And everything is just flying off because why not? stick them on there so you can do that you can also take like I said before you can take uh, the onslaught guns off and pull out the pegs and you can hold them which I probably should have tried ahead of time which I did not but yeah he can hold them like that or if you pull out the other one like that or you can just plug it into his his arm where is the there we go like so if you want to you can do that and go ahead and take all this stuff off since he doesn't seem to want to hold it anyway and yeah he's he's I like him he does have issues, like I said. Got that issue with the floppies. So ratchets are pretty good, though. And, um... His weapon's not staying on like you're supposed to. He's got... Oh, light piping. Almost forgot to show that off. Bada-bing, bada-boom. And, uh... Let's go ahead and do the articulation. His head is on a little bit of a ball, but you won't really get very much down. You get a little up, rotation, and that's pretty much it. He doesn't even look down, which is a bit of a shame. I might take his head off and see if I can scrape some of underneath uh, out to see if I can get him to look down because all his subordinates are shorter than he is. Rotates 360, whoops. 360 but it 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 catches on stuff uh, in and out upper uh, what do you call it rotation upper not thigh bicep he's got a double double uh, what should I call it double elbow Hands open and close and rotation, tight rotation. Uh, let's see, he's got waist. Legs go out to about there because there's posts here. Um, flaps go up and his legs go all the way forward, all the way back. Uh, bend that far. 
his feet pivot a bit and rotate and so does his heel and that's about it so I mean you can definitely get him in some some poses if you want to you can and uh, yeah go ahead and do his size comparisons. Let's do that real quick. So uh, there he is with with a uh, deluxe size figure. Voyager size figure and one of his own fellers. But yeah, he is pretty nice. I like him a lot. Let's go ahead and get him into his limb mode, not his limb mode, his body mode. So we're gonna go ahead and flip these back open, flip his hands in, close them back up. And do the same thing for his other hand. Open, close. We are going to now shrink his legs back up. Like so. And you can go ahead and clip them together. Put his feet up yeah. Put his other feet here. And then this closes like so. Open. Close. There we go. Um, open this, this piece here. So we can get the combiner peg out. Combiner port, I mean. And Flip this underneath, close. Do the same thing on this side. Go ahead and flip that up, flip that up. Flip that around, flip that up like that. And there we go. Okay, rotate. Bring this around. That closes back up. Rotate, flip this around, close that there, um, take these bits here on the sides, bring them out and they will slot in here, this is to keep the shoulders from moving. I'm going to do the same thing on this side here. As I keep them again from moving. Might as well open this up right here. Bring this all the way around. It slots over the head like so. We'll do that. And then this. You're going to flip these in like this. And then close these like so. So that's flat. And... You're going to take this and uh, uh, kill yourself splitting that open like so. I feel like I've forgotten something. Ah, it doesn't go all the way up, it goes like that. This goes up like this and bring these down. Take the wheels. And pop them up like this and around and do the same thing on the other side up and around up and ar around up and around I thought these were supposed to peg in but apparently they're not pegging in so up and around it is okay and then 
there are peg holes right here. There's pegs and two peg holes right there. You just want to line them up and get them doing their job, which apparently I did not do right because they're not lining up. Why are you not lining up? Oh, I see. This piece under... There's a piece under here. It's got to be flush. And then this will sit in the pegs. There we go. So there's that. Bring these flaps down. These will... Uh, I think they go like this. Yes, yes. This goes like this. I feel like it's supposed to slot in, but I don't think it is. Pull these up. Be careful because they will come right out because again, they don't stop where they're supposed to. And uh, that is the upper torso of Bruticus pretty much done. Yep. And then you just take these and stick them on to the sides here. And take these and they will plug into the back, but you want to extend them first. Please plug into the peg holes here. And then, once we've got the lower torso and the upper torso together, you will take this and it will peg in right there. So we'll go ahead and leave that there. We'll leave this here for now. Go ahead and bits right here and uh, that's it for this video I mean I love the figure it's probably more nostalgia than anything else but I do love the figure and uh, we're gonna cut now and come back for the combiner video on my slip ciao